Hello students, in this class you are going to learn about the land tax system brought by Britishers in India. In the previous class we discussed one important tax reform, land tax reform that brought by Britishers in India that is permanent Jamindari system. The first land tax system that is permanent Permanent Jamindari system. Permanent Jamindari system. The second one is Mahalwari. Mahalwari system. The third one is Rautwari system. Rautwari system. The land tax reforms which brought by British in India are three. One is Permanent Jamindari system, Mahalwari system and Rautwari system. In the previous class we discussed about the Permanent Jamindari system. Who brought this one? Lord Cornwallis implemented Permanent Jamindari system in India. Bengal, Bihar, Orissa province. In the provinces like Bengal, Bihar, Orissa, Lord Cornwallis implemented Permanent Jamindari system. Okay. That discussion we completed in the previous class. Now, let us talk about the information with regarding to Mahalwari system. Mahalwari system. Mahalwari system. Mahalwari system implemented by RM Bird. RM Bird and James Thompson Children, Maharwari system implemented by R.M. Bird and James Thompson James Thompson In which regions? In the regions like Delhi Punjab Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. So the regions like Delhi, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh, in those regions, in those regions, RM Bird, James Thompson implemented a new kind of land tax system in India that is Mahalwari system. What is the system name? Mahalwari system. Children, in this system, the company government the company government uh, they will get contact with mahal level company government company government connected connected at mahal connected at mahal level very very important point company government connected at a mahal level here what is the meaning of the word mahal mahal means taluk mahal means taluk i hope you are very clear company government means east india company government connected directly at a mahal in the first system east india company connected with jamindars but in the second system east india company government connected with mahal mahal means what here taluk taluk each and every taluk one representative appointed to collect land tax is known as mahaldar mahaldar so mahaldar is a responsible person to collect land tax system land tax to the british from which level mahal level in this kind of system what happened means the company government decided land tax that is more than the production. The East India Company government, they will decide the land tax more than the production. If the Jamindars, in particular Mahal, if they are unable to pay land tax to the British means, their ownership will be cancelled. Children, very very important point, company government connected directly at a Mahal level. Mahal means here one taluk. 
for each and every one taluk one person is appointed to collect land tax is known as mahaldar and here east india company government they will decide the land tax which is more than the production which is more than the production and one more thing the implementation of mahaldari system it is different from one region to the other region the implementation of mahaldari system it is different from one region means one area to the another area why because means the land tax they will fix that is more than the production which is produced by the farmer but here what happened you know here the company government fixed more land tax than the production so here the zamindars whoever are there in that particular taluk those zamindars are unable to pay land tax to the east india company finally what happened all the zamindars they will lost their ownership their their ownership on the land will be cancelled and more over that on those zamindars whoever the marginal farmers are dependent all the peoples are suffered a lot so in this way the britishers are collecting land tax from the farmers by appointing mahaldar in a particular taluk children again i will repeat each and every point listen it carefully mahalwari system implemented by r m bird james thompson in which regions delhi punjab uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh and madhya pradesh here as per mahalwari system the company government connected directly at the mahal level mahal level mahal means here one taluk every taluk there is a one representative to collect land tax is mahaldar the implementation of mahalwari system it is different from one region to the other region and moreover east india company government they will fix land tax which is more than the production whenever the zamindars they are unable to pay the land tax they will lose their ownership over the land finally the farmers who are depending upon those zamindars they will suffer a lot in this way the britishers are collected land tax by implementing the concept that is known as mahalwari system children from the third lesson this concept is very very important for three mark sometimes they will ask differentiate between zamindari system and mahalwari system differentiate between mahalwari system and rothwari system differentiate between rothwari system and zamindari system in any manner the question may asked you based upon the differentiation of different land tax system so further we will discuss another kind of land tax reform okay children now let us talk about the third kind of reform in the land tax system that is rothwari system rothwari system rothwari system implemented by alexander reed alexander reed in the year 1792 1792 in baramahal region baramahal region look at this point carefully alexander reed implemented rothwari system in the year 1792 1792 in baramahal region in one region only he implemented it after that the mahal sorry the rothwari system implemented by thomas munro thomas munro in the year 1801 1801 in which regions madras and mysore region madras and mysore region so first of all rothwari system implemented by alexander reed in the year 1792 in which region baramahal region after that again in the year 
Thomas Munro implemented Rothwari system in Madras and Mysore provinces. Madras and the Mysore provinces. What is the major differentiation in between Parivindi Jamindari system, Mahalwari system and Rothwari system? Children, in the first system, Jamindar is act as a mediator in between farmer and the East India Company. See, this point is very very important. In permanent Jamindar system, Jamindar is a mediator between East India Company and the farmer. Next, in the Malwari system, Mahaldar is a mediator to collect land tax from the farmer to the British. From the farmer to the British. So now, but in Rautwari system, there is no mediator. The farmer directly. Very, very important feature. The farmer directly connected. The farmer directly connected with the government. The farmer directly connected with the government. So, according to Rautwari system, the teller of the land is the owner of the land. Tiller of the land is the owner of the land. Owner of the land. This point is very very important children. Tiller of the land is the owner of the land. What is the meaning of the word tiller? Tiller means the person who cultivates the land. Generally, who will cultivate the land? The farmer will cultivate the land. So, tiller of the land is the real owner. Means here, farmer is the real owner of the land. But here, in permanent Jamindar system, Jamindar will look after, Mahalwar system, Mahalwar will look after, but in Rothwar system, the farmer directly connected with the government. And moreover, tiller of the land, who is the tiller of the land? Farmer only is the tiller of the land. He is the real owner of the land. So now, as per Rothwari system, the person who cultivating the land, the person who cultivating the land, they have to pay 50 percentage of land tax. 50 percentage of land tax to the company. As per Rothwari system, 50 percentage of the land tax should pay to the company. So, due to Rothwar system, even though small farmer also become a land owners. By Rothwar system, even small farmer and marginal farmers, they become a land owners. But here what happened means, the government kept one condition. What is the condition means? Whether the crops are cultivated or not, but compulsory, the farmer has to pay 50 percentage of land tax to the company. Whether the crops are cultivated or damaged, the government it won't take into consideration. So it may be a crop time or whenever the floods will come, the crops will spoil. During that situation also, the farmer has to pay 50 percentage of land tax to the company. Due to this, what happened means, the farmers suffered a lot. Why? Because means sometimes crops are failed but the farmer has to pay tax. At that time, how, how farmers will pay tax? Children, here production is less but according to this system, farmer has to pay 50 percentage of land tax. At that time, the farmers will borrow money from the money lenders. The farmers borrow money from money lenders. Generally, money lenders mean so in your villages you may observe that right. Some of the people are there, they will provide money to the farmers who they are in, who they are in need for, for high interest rate. Those are known as a money lenders. So, the farmer will borrow money from the money lenders 
and they will pay to the East India Company. Here what happened means the farmer will be suffering a lot. Why? Because means they are paying land tax to the East India Company by borrowing money from the money lenders. After that, the farmers are unable to pay money return to the money lenders. Finally, what will happen? Sir? The farmers, they lost their ownership on the land. In this way, the Britishers are collected land tax system by implementing what system here? That is Rautwari system. Children here, uh, by Rautwari system, even though small farmer also became a land owner, they have to pay 50% of land tax to the company whether the crops are cultivated or not. See here, the East India Company will give license that is for 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. East, uh, the British East India Company, they will give water strip to the farmers for how many years? 30 years. For the 30 years, they have to pay 50 percent of land tax. Wherever they are unable to pay, at that time, they will collect the land. And moreover that after 30 years, after 30 years, this license will be reviewed, means renewal, it will be extended. But here the problem is the farmers are unable to pay 50% of land tax. They will collect money from the money lenders and they will pay the land tax to the British people. So money lenders are charging high interest rate due to that what happened means so the farmers are lost their ownership so why they lost their ownership why because means they are unable to pay money return to the money lenders children whatever the system it may be whether it may be a jamindari system malawari system and rothwari system the ultimate person who suffered a lot means that is farmer only maldar you won't get anything Damaged and the Jamindar also nothing exploited, but by all this kind of system, farmer is exploited more. That is the reason why. And the conclusion point here, whatever the land tax system it may be, exploitation of a farmer is a common thing. Exploitation of farmers is a common thing in the land tax system of the British children. Permanent Jamindar system implemented by Lord Cornwallis and Mahalwari system implemented by Mahalwari system implemented by R. M. Bird James Thompson and Rothwari system implemented by Alexander Reed in the year 1792 after that it is again implemented by Thomas Munro in the year 1801 so so far we discussed the complete information about Permanent Jamindari system, Mahavari system and the Rautwari system. So, as I told you already, the differentiation is very very important from this concept. From this concept. Okay, so far we dealt regarding the differentiation between Jamindari system, Mahavari system and Rautwari system. So now, whatever the thing now we are going to discuss that is very very important for three mark very important concept for three mark question three mark question that is nothing but the impact of british land tax system very very important the impact of british land tax system already we know right Permanent Jamindari system is implemented, Malwari and the Rautwari system is implemented. What is the conclusion point I told? Whatever the system it may be, finally the farmers are exploiting. So here it is the impact of British land tax. The first one, a new class of Jamindars in a society, a new group of people, a new class created that is known as Jamindars. So here, Jamindars are the class who are exploitating the farmers. Jamindars always used to exploitate. Exploitating means what? Taking more money from the farmers. I hope you are clear with first point. 
due to land tax system brought by british in india a new group of people created that is known as zamindars who are zamindars the people who are exploiting the farmers now farmers became a landless i already told you right so the british east india company they will fix land tax which is more than the expected production expected production so whenever the farmer is unable to pay land tax to the company at that time the farmer will lose his land farmer became a landless next land became a commodity what is the meaning of the word commodity commodity means good on good or we can say that it is a product See, example, this is like a one product. The tester will be the one product, one good. Likewise, land became a commodity. The land is using like a normal product. How like means loans. Loan means loans means taking money. Loans raised by mortgaging land. Mortgaging. Mortgaging means what you know? Giving surety. giving surety example uh, you may go to bank and you request the bank manager uh, to get some loan means the bank manager will ask some documents related to the land or related to your building whatever it may be that is known as mortgaging so here if you want to get a loan from one person means you have to mortgage your land mortgage means what you have to give surety of your land documents to that particular person in that manner land it is like a one asset just a used like a commodity and the loans are raised by mortgaging mortgaging means what you done here giving surety or giving assurance so if you want to at that time a farmer want to get a loan from one person means he has to give the land documents to the money lender so that money lender provide money to the farmer according to the value of that documents in that manner land will be used like a commodity land is used like a commodity means loans raised by mortgaging land now many zamindars mortgage land to pay tax i told you right so zamindars actually they have to pay land tax right so wherever they are unable to pay land tax at that time they have to mortgage their land they have to give their land to the particular person if it is it is a quite common now also if any person is unable to repay the money to other person means whatever the documents he submitted that property that person will take in that manner zamindars many of the zamindars have to mortgage their land to pay tax means what they have to give assurance and here agriculture sector being commercialized commercialized means what crops crops are cultivating for business purpose crops are cultivating for business purpose agriculture sector became commercialized initially in india the farmers used to grow food grains but after that but after that the indian farmers they are forced to cultivate they are forced to cultivate the raw materials which are needed for the industries in england i hope you are very clear again i will repeat agriculture sector become commercialized means the farmer had to cultivate the farmer had to cultivate the raw materials which are needed for the industries in england industries in england means some industries are there in england right so for that industries what raw materials are required those raw materials the indian farmers had to grow that is the reason why agriculture sector became a commercialized everything only because of trade likewise the farmers are cultivating crops finally money lenders become strong 
money lender means who the the person who will give money to the farmers so uh, in the rauth war system we discussed the small farmers became a owner of the land so here they have to pay 50 percentage of land tax to the company right whenever they are unable to pay they will take money from the money lenders so due to that these money lenders in the society they became a very strong this is a major impact in india by implementing british land tax system children again i am saying to you so after my explanation just pause the video and write all the points in your own paper or your own notebook and refer the content again and again until you will get it. Why because means this is a gunshot question for your examination point of view. This is a gunshot question for the examination point of view. So here the impact of British land tax. Shall I repeat again? Look at the point carefully. A new class of zamindar created. Who are zamindars? Who are exploited in the farmers. Next. Farmers became a landless by paying more and more tax to the East India Company. Finally, they became a landless. And land became a commodity. Commodity means one good or product. Land is using like a one product. Means if they want to get a loan, means they have to give their land documents to the particular person. And here many Jamindas had to mortgage their land. Many of the Jamindas they have to give their land to pay the tax and moreover agriculture sector became a commercialized the farmers had to grow the raw materials needed for the industries which are there in England and the final one is the money lenders are became a strong by providing money to the farmers these money lenders are became a strong this is a very important question you have to get it as soon as possible children so far in this class we discussed the differentiation between jamindari system malwari system rautwari system and after that we discussed another important concept that is the impact of british rule in india so this is the lecture number 4 in the lesson the impact of british rule in india so we will meet again in the next class with further discussion with regarding to the same lesson thank you children have a nice day